In today's fun-filled video, we're going to go over replacing the door seal on your wood stove. If this seal is not properly fitted, you're going to have air leaks, you're going to have smoke leaking, your fire isn't going to get hot enough, it's going to create all kinds of issues. So you need to make sure you have a good seal. Starting off, you can tell if it needs replaced simply by closing your door. You should have a nice tight seal on that when you close that. Mine is very loose. Now there are ways to adjust your door and that may be all that's needed. Check your manufacturer's uh, paperwork and it'll tell you how to adjust your particular door. Mine doesn't need adjusted, mine just needs replaced. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna start off with removing the door seal. We're gonna find the end which should be down towards the bottom and pull it out. And that is nasty. You may need to get a little scraper in there and scrape it out. Mine's coming out a little e easier than I actually anticipated. That's all I'm using here is a metal wire brush. Okay, so once you have your door seal out and that all cleaned up, you need to measure what size you're gonna need or you can check your manufacturer's paperwork and see what size door seal you need. Typically, it's gonna be a quarter inch or a half inch. Mine is a half inch. And so then here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some stove gasket cement and a gasket replacement. And you can get these in a kit, several different makes and models. I don't know that one's any better than another. Um, just pick up whichever you need. I'll put a link in the video to what I have here or something similar. Okay, the next thing we want to do is lightly dampen the channel and the rope. So it's going to take a moist rag here and just run it through the channel. Like I say we're not soaking it, just lightly dampening it, it says. And that'll help us get some of that dust out of there too. And it's going to run this rope right through my rag then as well. So once we have those both lightly dampened, you want to knead the tube. And then you want to lay a 1 8 inch bead of the cement in your channel. Now when you take your rope and you feel it, it's going to feel like a rectangle. You're going to see it's quarter inch one way and half inch the other way. My channel is about a quarter inch so make sure you put that in the correct orientation. We're going to work it in starting at the in the middle at the bottom and going around so that our break is right at the bottom in the middle there. Check all your corners, make sure you have it in those corners nice. You don't want to pull it too tight in the corners or it'll pop out. So you definitely want the corners to be a little bit loose. And once you think you got it, go ahead and cut your end and leave yourself a little slack there for the overlap. So you can kind of move it around if you have a little bit of excess like I cut a little bit too long so I can just kind of shift this rope around and then I'm gonna wipe up some of this excess cement with my wet rag go ahead and close your door then oh yeah it's a much nice much nicer tighter fit on there As I'm going to go ahead and we want to let this air dry for about an hour. I'm going to leave the door closed to keep that pressure on it and we're going to let that air dry for an hour. Once you're done letting it air dry, you want to fire the wood stove up and try to get it up to 500 degrees to cure the cement. You want to do that within 30 days of installing the seal. But other than that, that's all there is to replacing the door seal on your wood stove. I hope this video helped you out. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.